everyone. Welcome to Carmen's Australian Storytime. Today I found a great book called The Greatest Mistakes That Went Right. Hmm, interesting. Have you ever made a mistake and it's turned into something wonderful? Maybe you've been cooking and you put the wrong ingredients in but it actually tasted delicious. Or you tried to make something and something broke on it, but you turned it into something marvellous anyway. Well, this is a book about that. And it's written by Maddie Mara and illustrated by Cheryl Orsini. Let's see what the blurb has to say. Are you in a hurry to wonder and worry? The new things you try won't go right. When they simply don't work, don't go all berserk. Mistakes can grow wings and take flight. Where would we be without big blunders? From Play-Doh to penicillin, the slinky to the Granny Smith apple. Some of the best inventions started out as gigantic slip-ups. From exciting new team, Maddie Mara and Cheryl Orsini comes a blooper reel. A blooper reel is like uh, mistakes when people make mistakes in movies or mistakes in their acting. They call it the blooper reel and they play it back and it's good for a laugh. It's good to have fun at your mistakes. With amazing consequences and a reminder to all kids scared of trying something new, even the greatest mistakes can go right. That's what I always say in the art room too. If you're painting or drawing or making something and it doesn't seem right, just keep going because you can always turn it into something else. Sometimes those designs are the best yet. I always say, just trust yourself and keep going. You never know, you might surprise yourself. Yep, look at all those tries. Are you in a hurry to wonder and worry? The new things you try won't go right. When they simply don't work, don't go all berserk. Mistakes can grow wings and take flight. Won't go to Brazil and learn a new skill for fear that you'll splat in a stew. If you stick with the known, don't try the trombone. You'll never find something brand new. Be scared of big snakes, but not silly mistakes. We love them. They're part of most days. When you're at a loss, don't get bothered and cross. There are other ways out of the banks. Take a look at the past and you'll see very fast that we've always been great at big blunders. The road can be rough and the way to great stuff. It takes many mistakes to make wonders. All the great inventors would say that too. Consider our Fleming in no way a lemming. A lemming is an animal that actually tries to kill itself walking up a cliff. Very interesting animal. Now he was particularly neat. A dish full of mould turned to medical gold. Penicillin, what a marvellous feat. So he left the dish out and it got mouldy and that's how he invented penicillin which is a medicine used in the hospitals to treat us when we are sick. Oh, there goes the noise again. The builders next door are building a very big tower and they're working very late today. Or Maria Ann Smith, an Apple fan with a habit of sending, sending cores flying. So when she ate her apple, she would flip the core. From a seed sprang a tree, fruit as good as can be. Granny Smiths are just so satisfying. So the Granny Smith apple is named after Maria Ann Smith. A Mr. R. James was not playing games when he deshelved a spring with his pinky. Hmm. But he's, the spring took a step which had plenty of pep. And ta-da, ta -da, James invented the slinky. So the slinky actually came about because a spring broke out of a machine. A chemist named Perkin felt like a real gherkin when his malaria cure went astray. 
But the mix on the stove made a new colour mauve, and the fashion world hollered, hooray! <laughs> so he actually came up with the colour mauve, which is a purple. And they're all wearing it. So he could use his mix to create a dye to colour clothes, even though he was looking for a cure and he was a scientist. Garrett A. Morgan got a much need got much needed chores done after seeing a terrible crash. Stop and go's not enough, he said, his voice gruff. The new traffic light made a splash. So before the traffic lights it would have been very hard. You would never know when you could stop and then go. Good invention. but there had to be a lot of car crashes before that happened. Kay Zufel was right and incredibly bright and she probably shouted out, whoa, this useless wall cleaner should change its demeanor. From now on, let's call it Play-Doh. So she was actually trying to invent wall cleaner and she invented Play-Doh. One of the best things in the world. I think nearly every child gets to play with Play-Doh. And if they don't, they should definitely give it a try. It's so fun to play with. And next, through the hatch, is Wilson Great Batch, an inventor and clever risk taker. He used the wrong part, caused a beat like a heart. <gasps> a mistake that became a pacemaker. A pacemaker is something that Older people get, or sometimes younger people have the problem too, where your heart doesn't beat properly and so they have to put a little box in your chest that increases or slows the heart rate down depending on what you need. Wow, so he actually had a mistake to invent the pacemaker. That's pretty amazing because the pacemaker helps a lot of people. See how each big blooper became super duper? And there are, and these ones are only a few. There are hundreds of others and more to discover. The only thing missing is you. So I hope I'm talking to all the amazing inventors out there and that you don't keep trying and that your mistakes can one day maybe turn into a super duper invention. Penicillin, invented by Sir Alexander Fleming. The Granny Smith Apple, created by Maria Ann Smith. The Slinky, invented by Richard T. James. The Colour Mauve, created by William Henry Perkins. Three-way traffic lights, invented by Garrett Morgan. Play-Doh, an idea by Kay Zufel. And the Pacemaker, invented by Wilson Gearbatch. I won't read all of that to you, it will take a very long time. But I found this book at a great shop in West End, in the city, and it's called Where the Wild Things Are. So if you ever get to go to that bookshop, uh, actually, mm, I haven't been into that bookshop yet and walked out without a book, I'm very sad to say. Well, not very happy to say, but yes. You would definitely love this shop. It is filled with the most amazing books. And that's where I found this great book. So thank you for joining me on Carmen's Australian Storytime. I hope you had as much fun reading that book with me as I did reading it to you. What great mistakes and what great inventions they made. So don't give up. Keep on trying and turn your mistake into something wonderful. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to click and subscribe and I will see you soon. Bye for now.